Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So today I'm going to be talking about how to use Linux as a content creator, specifically as a YouTube content creator. Now, a lot of times when people think about this, they think that there's only two ways to do that. One is through Microsoft's Windows operating system, and the other way is through Apple's Mac OS. And they also think that you have to spend a lot of money on expensive video and audio equipment, and especially on software to actually edit and produce the content. But I'm going to show you today how that's simply not the case, and that you could pretty much do everything that you would in Windows or Mac for practically no money at all. Now, for any YouTube or video content creator, there are five essential things that you'll need. The first thing is your actual video or audio equipment. The second thing is your operating system. The third thing is some type of video editing software. The fourth thing is your image editing software. And the final thing is some type of audio editing software. So let's go ahead and start with actual video and audio equipment. And for me, all you really need is your smartphone. Today's modern smartphones are so powerful, and especially the flagship phones, they have excellent video cameras and photography cameras built in. And the microphone is more than enough for most people. So I feel that you do not have to spend a lot of money. And like I said, especially like the high-end flagship phones, they'll be able to do such things such as 4K and slow motion, pretty much everything that you'll need for videography and photography needs. Okay, so that takes care of your hardware. Now moving on to your software, the first thing you need is an operating system. And here we have Linux as our operating systems. There are so many options available and the best thing is it's free. You don't need to get any type of license. You can install it on as many machines as you want. And the great thing is modern Linux is so easy to use. As a matter of fact, I think it's easier than either Windows or Mac. So now that we got that out of the way, you need some type of video editing software. And the two main video editing software in Linux are OpenShot and Kden Live. Those are the ones that I use. OpenShot will allow you to make videos that are basic all the way to intermediate. And then for somebody who uses Kden Live, they could get pro level types of video editing without any limitations. And then after that, you're gonna need some type of image editing software. And with Linux for me, I use GIMP for things that are more complex, so this is very similar to Photoshop. Or you could use something like Pinta, which is a lot simpler, but still very powerful. And then for your vector graphics, you can use something like Inkscape. And then finally, you're going to need to do some type of audio editing. And for me, all I need is Audacity. Okay, that pretty much takes care of all my audio editing and any type of cleanup that I need to do on my audio. So as you can see there, that covers all the five main things that you need. And the best thing is, all of these are free. It costs you absolutely nothing. About the only thing that's gonna cost you a little bit of money is your smartphone, but majority of people already have that. And so with that aside, all your software, it's all open source and it's all free. And so within my channel, you see that I already have a lot of videos and playlists available for people who actually want to become a content creator using Linux and open source tools. And so there are three main playlists that I have that I'd recommend for people who wanna get started. And there's a variety of other playlists that I also have as well. So the first playlist that I have is moving from Windows or Mac over to Linux. So these are for people who've never really used Linux before. And so this way they'll learn all the basics all the way up to medium and even advanced at some levels on how to use Linux as an operating system. The second playlist I have is my open shot tutorials. Now this is excellent for people who've never really done any type of video editing and I think open shot is the best tool to get people into the world of video editing and then later on they can learn to use something more complex such as Kden Live. And then within all of these tutorials, they also show you how you can put all of these things together. And the final playlist that I recommend is my YouTube journey and how to playlist. So in this particular playlist, I talk about what it is to be a YouTube content creator. Some of the things that I learned and that I continue to learn and also some how to tips and tricks. So there you go. That's how you can actually use Linux a free and open source operating system and all these open source tools to become a YouTube or video content creator without spending almost any money at all. And so if you had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. Now, if you did want to support my channel further, you could also do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com 
and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.